So what we know is that often in healthcare patient outcomes are not good. We know that the order of 50% of patients do not take treatment as prescribed. So there are major problems in the way patients make use of medicines and this is you know, widely documented. You know, the, the World Health Organization report in 2003 has provided us with the figure of, of at least 50% of patients with long-term chronic health problems um, show problems of adherence to treatment. So if we can really understand how and why those problems occur, how patients' beliefs and how their emotions on a very individual basis can get in the way of best use of treatment and, and uh, stop patients making best use of their treatment. A patient support program can really focus on those issues head on because by tailoring a support program in the way that, for example, Atlantis programs do, tailoring those programs to the needs of the individual patient, um, understanding you know, the role of their beliefs, the role of their emotions, and providing support to them. We know we can improve um, their use of treatment. We can probably reduce their anxieties. We can help them manage and perhaps cope with their condition better. And if all those things happen, if patients make better use of treatment, if their anxieties are reduced, if they're coping better, if they feel they're managing better, all those things can improve outcome. They can improve, they can improve disease outcomes, they can reduce symptoms, they can help in managing the disease process, but they, critically they can improve quality of life. That's the really important thing because we know that quality of life, i.e. someone's day-to-day -day experience and the level of you know, social functioning, physical functioning they achieve is very much dependent on how they cope and on their mood and they're the things that we can really influence with support programs.